Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another first impressions kind of a video. I'll be trying out a bunch of makeup products from Makeup Revolution's new line of products which is their Real Love Makeup Collection. Right from the packaging to the products, the color themes, everything looks so appealing to me. So I could not resist myself and I picked up a bunch of products from this new range. Summers are here and I pulled out my hottest, brightest neon green top out. Anyway, this is the makeup look that I came up with using a bunch of real love makeup products from Makeup Revolution. I've been really into inner corner wings these days so I'm going ham with inner corner wings. I think they give a beautiful elongated nice shape to my eyes which I'm totally digging at the moment. But anyway if you want to know how I feel about these real love makeup products and how I achieve this makeup look then please do continue watching. Before beginning with the video, I cleanse my face using the Dermavibe Hydra Cleanser which is also great even if you have sensitive skin types. It maintains the pH level of the skin and doesn't make it dry or anything like that. Then to prep my skin further, I'm going to take the Neutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which is my absolute favorite to wear it with or without makeup underneath. So I'm just applying and massaging the product all over the face and neck and massaging it thoroughly. The first product that I have from the Real Up collection is their Pore Vanish Primer. Now this is a very very unusual primer for me because this is in a liquid form. Now generally primers either come in a silicone gel kind of a formula or a creamy formula. A liquid formula is very very new to me. Especially pore filling and blurring primers are usually in a cream or silicone formula but this one is in a liquid formula. It feels very 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 close to the texture of water. It is extremely lightweight. I really love the cute packaging of this product as well. It has a nice pump so you can dispense the product easily out of the bottle. Although this claims to be pore filling and blurring, I did not see much of a difference in my pores or textures. You know with silicone based primers or pore filling primers, once you apply the product, it just fills in all of your pores and textures and makes it a little bit more smoother and even. But I could not see much of a difference with the pores and textures on my skin with this primer. It definitely created a nice tacky base to uh, make your base product stick onto the skin pretty well. That it does really really well but not so much of a pore filling or blurring property like the product claims for. I totally forgot to mention about the fragrance of this product. It smells like a delicious peach in a bottle. I really like peachy fragrances. It's very fresh and uplifting and this one has the most delicious peachy fragrance to it. It just feels so relaxing and calming when you put it on your face. It also absorbs into your skin so quickly and so easily. It's a really good primer. If you take away the pore filling and blurring property of it, it's a very decent primer. It makes your makeup stay on for a longer period of time and your makeup glues onto your face really nicely. The next product that I have is a very very exciting product from Makeup Revolution 3 Love Collection which is their serum foundation. Serum based makeup products or skincare products are so in rage at the moment. I really wanted to try the serum foundation from the Real Love Collection. I am into natural mediumish kind of coverage foundations these days. I think those are the best kind of foundations to wear during the day or for parties. So yeah, so this comes in a beautiful glass bottle. It has 25 ml of product which is slightly lesser than the average uh, quantity for foundation which is 30 ml. It's not a drastic difference so it is totally fine with me. It comes in a dropper bottle like this so you can um, easily take out the product and dispense the product out on your face. I got this in the shade 12.5 which matches my complexion to the T. It is exactly close to my skin tone. It has a perfect kind of warmth to it. It's not too orangey or too yellow. So once you blend it out everything looks really blended and meshed with my skin tone. Now this foundation as it is a serum based foundation I found that it's very very liquidy. It's just like water blends like a dream on your face but it is very 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 high on the dewy side. As you guys know I have an extremely oily complexion so for the summers I don't think I will pick up this foundation more because it is extremely shiny on my face. Even after setting it with loose powder 
it remains a bit shiny. I applied this foundation using a beauty blender on one side and on the other side I applied it using a buffing brush and I noticed that the beauty blender kind of soaked away a lot of the product. I used thrice the amount of foundation while I use the beauty blender when compared to the brush side. The coverage of this foundation is light to medium and it looks super super natural on the skin and feels pretty lightweight and comfortable too. I'm not really sure how well this foundation would put up on my oily skin but I do have a feeling that it would melt away with all the humidity and heat that is happening around me. I would totally suggest this foundation for drier or normal skin types, not so much for oily skin types. I am trying a variety of liquid and cream blushes from different brands and in different formulas so I picked up this very very cute looking liquid blush from the Real Up collection this is called their baby tint and I absolutely adore the packaging of this it's a really really cute and tiny little bottle it is transparent on the bottom so you can see the exact color of the cheek tint right inside the container and when you open it up it has the cutest doe foot applicator with which you can apply the liquid blush onto your cheeks with ease. It has a bit of a curve on the tip so it just applies the product beautifully on the curve of your cheeks. I love these kind of mommy blushes generally so I picked up in this beautiful shade called blush. Shade itself is called blush. It's in this beautiful dusty mauvey rosy kind of a color which I think looks beautiful on dusky skin tones. Now this is a liquid formula. Again it feels super super lightweight and gel like on the cheeks. You can just dot it on the cheek area and blend it out using a brush or a beauty blender. I would honestly recommend you to use a brush which is what I use today as well and it gave me such a nice blend as well as it did not soak up the uh, color payoff of this product. With a sponge it always happens that you might have to use some extra product to get that kind of a color payoff. So I stuck to a brush instead and it is really well pigmented on the skin too. Blends absolutely beautifully on the cheeks. Sometimes cream or liquid blushes can kind of disrupt the foundation layer that is underneath but this one absolutely did not do that and it just applied very beautifully on the cheeks. Just adds that beautiful flush of color on the cheeks which looks absolutely natural and it looks like you're blushing from within you know. So I really really enjoyed the baby tint blush in the shade blush. You can also use this on your lips because it is a lip and cheek tint. This is such a gorgeous color on my skin tone. I'm pretty sure I would wear this a lot of times in the future. I got their blush duo blush and highlighter. And the blusher is in a beautiful peachy mauvey kind of a color. It's a mix of both peach and mauve. The highlighter is also a beautiful golden color with a lot of peachy undertones to it. The blusher as well as the highlighter are extremely pigmented. So just a tad bit of these products go a long long way on your cheeks. This is the blusher that I topped on top of the liquid blusher that I have underneath and as you can see it looks a little bit intense also because of the layering of both the liquid as well as powder blushes it looks very very intense and potent on the skin but otherwise also the blush is pretty pigmented so a little bit goes a long long way again the formula is very very smooth and buttery on the skin it is completely matte there is no shine or shimmer whatsoever in this blusher so even if you have textured skin like me, this would work absolutely beautifully. The highlighter is also so intense on the skin. You just need a tiny touch of the product and it delivers so much of glow and dewiness on the skin. Very pretty color for dusky skin tones again because it's a peachy gold color. Really like the sleek packaging of these products as well. It can fit in your travel bag super super easily. By the way, this is in the shade Kindness which I totally forgot to mention earlier. I also have two more cheek products from them. The first one is the Super Bronzer. This product also really really intrigued me because they have such a beautiful color selection in this bronzer range. They have tons of shades of bronzers in this particular range from really fair skin tones to really dark skin tones. I picked it up in the shade called Gobby and this is how the bronzer looks like on the inside. Honestly, this kind of bronzer shades or tone is the perfect tone for a bronzer because it's not too warm or not too uh, red toned or cool toned. It's just 
right in between it has the most beautiful warmth to it which looks absolutely natural and beautiful and sun-kissed on the skin and doesn't look reddish or orange or muddy this shade also reminds me a lot of my benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. It is very very similar to that of this color. Again, this is a very 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 pigmented bronzer. I went a little intense with the bronzer again and this is how it looks. So make sure you use a very very light hand when you apply these products. It's also blended like a dream on the cheeks as well as on the perimeters of my face. Super smooth buttery texture but I also noticed that because of the smooth and buttery texture it has a lot of kickback but other than that this is such a beautiful affordable bronzer especially those of you who are in the dusky skin tone category just go ahead and pick up this bronzer it is super affordable such a good quality it can be easily compared to any other high-end bronzers or contouring powders and there are so many shades to choose from what else do you more require from a bronzer just pick it up it is such a good one then comes the super highlighter and this is in the shade uh, rose this instantly reminded me of my elf 24k gold highlighter this is the elf 24k gold highlighter and this is the super highlighter from makeup revolution honestly they look extremely similar except for the fact that the e.l.f. one comes in a black packaging and the Makeup Revolution one comes in a white packaging but other than that look at the pattern of the highlighter as well it's very 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 close probably the Makeup Revolution highlighter is slightly bigger than the e.l.f. one but it's totally in the same whites of packaging but anyways there is a world of a difference between both of these shades this highlighter is a beautiful duochrome golden and peachy pink kind of a highlighter it looks stunning on the skin i like this highlighter a little bit better than the other highlighter in the blush palette because this one is slightly more finely milled than the uh, blush duo highlighter that I have on this side of my face both are really good highlighters but when I compare them both side by side I like the rose highlighter so much more it's very very smooth does not accentuate the texture on your cheeks too much and it looks beaming on the skin you can also build up the highlighter according to your liking whether you want to keep it super subtle or super blingy on the skin again the shade rose is a gorgeous gorgeous color for dusky skin tones and if you have a very similar complexion to me you can absolutely check out the shade rose which looks absolutely stunning and gorgeous really really love and recommend the highlighter from the Relove range i just picked one eye product which is their eyeshadow palette this is called their empower shadow palette Palette. So this eyeshadow palette has a lot of berry tones in it. It has a beautiful pale bone as well as a brown color as well included. This is what I have on the eyes right now. The mattes are really buttery smooth and well pigmented. But the shimmer eyeshadow in here which is the only berry shade that is present in here is not that pigmented and doesn't meet up to the expectations. I tried applying the eyeshadow using a flat brush which is my most favorite flat brush which packs a lot of intensity also failed to give me that kind of a punch from a shimmer eyeshadow I tried to use my fingers the moment I apply it it looks absolutely blingy and foil but after a while it just disappears and everything looks more subdued and soft this is the leftover shimmer finish that I have on my eyelids this is how the eyeshadow looks once you take it on your finger just look at the difference how it looks on my finger and on the eyes it has a world of a difference in my opinion this is a very very average kind of an eyeshadow palette there are million other really good affordable eyeshadow palettes available in the market so you can totally skip this eyeshadow palette if you were wondering to make a purchase moving on to lip products i have their super fill lip liner in a beautiful chocolatey brown shade this is in the shade wonder and i absolutely love the packaging of it it just matches the whole vibe of this real love collection and it is also color coded so you know exactly what color it is with the packaging itself so like i said wonder is a beautiful deep cool tone chocolatey brown lip color if you guys know me i absolutely love deep chocolatey uh, lip liners on myself because they add the perfect kind of contour on my lips basically have super thin lips so these kind of brown lip liners really help in uh, structuring and plumping up my whole lips using that nice contour around them it's not 
crazy intensely pigmented or anything like that but it is well pigmented in my opinion color is also is a beautiful cool tone brown shade and it is deep enough that it shows up on my skin tone pretty pretty well brown lip liners are a lifesaver if you have brown skin tones they just literally work on every other lip color that you wear so this is such a good one as well oh and this is in a pencil wooden kind of a formula so you do have to sharpen it up every time the tip gets blunt the next lip product is also a very very exciting one which is this liquid lipstick trio they have these beautiful lip trios in a variety of shade options this is in like a brownie berry kind of a tone they have a red one a nude one and a bunch of different other color themes because i have a dusky and deeper indian skin tone i opted for this really deep rich chocolatey berry tones so this liquid lipstick trio is again called wonder use the deep brown as well as the berry tone for today's look again absolutely love the packaging it's a sleek see through uh, liquid lipstick tube and inside you have a super long wand and a really nice and thin doe foot applicator doe foot applicator gives such nice precision on the lips so i used the brown shade to sort of contour my lips first and then i went in with the berry shade and this brown shade is called chocolate which is such a apt name because i have a ton of brown liquid lipsticks and lipsticks in general with me and this is a very 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 unique kind of a brown liquid lipstick color because this one leans a lot more on the gray and black tone side it almost looks like a black shade on my lips but with a little bit of a brown hint to it this is definitely not warm at all it definitely has a lot of cool undertone to it once i applied this liquid lipstick around the contours of my lips it gave a lot of goth vibes because it is so deep and leans more on the gray and charcoal black kind of a side it looks extremely vampy and gothy looking on the lips it can be a plus because if you are on the deeper spectrum of uh, dusky skin tones you can absolutely check out the shade chocolate because it has a lot of depth and intensity and good color payoff as well on the center of my lips i applied the shade aubergine which is such a gorgeous deep berry plum tone kind of a color and this is a berry with a hint of smokiness to it and when i mixed them both together it gave me this beautiful grungy uh, plummy purple kind of a shade which i'm all up for i really like these kind of deep plummy and brownie shades on myself now these liquid lipsticks have excellent color payoff there is no doubt in that but they are not your usual kind of liquid lipsticks they have a little bit of a thicker consistency these days brands are coming up with such lightweight yet very very pigmented formula but initial application of these liquid lipsticks have a thicker kind of a formula and texture to them because of that thick nature they take quite a bit of time to kind of settle down to a beautiful matte finish i did go ahead and blot my lips using a tissue paper just to make them dry faster they definitely take a lot more time than your average liquid lipsticks but saying that once they are completely dry they look so gorgeous and so lightweight i don't know it's a very very weird kind of a formula i have never experienced such kind of a formula before they don't even settle on the cracks of the lips that much it just smoothens out the surface of the lips and makes it look more velvety and matte kind of a finish i can also press my lips together and they feel super lightweight and comfortable final final product that i have from the dilab collection is their pore vanish primer mist now this is a very very similar product to the uh, pore vanish primer that i showed you earlier this is called a primer mist so you can absolutely use this as a primer spray before you begin with your makeup or to set your entire face in place i use this setting spray for the latter purpose as i did the entire face of makeup i just sprayed it all over my face and it set my makeup so beautifully again they claim it to be pore vanishing or something i did not find that much of a difference with my pores or texture or anything like that but it definitely set my makeup into a beautiful soft matte finish the foundation that i put on uh, the serum foundation that i showed you guys was very very shiny on my skin even after setting it with a really good loose powder but this spray just took away the excessive shine and just gave me the right kind of finish on the skin this spray also has a beautiful peachy fragrance to it 
once you just mist it on your face it smells divine the mist of the setting spray is also pretty even it's not blotchy or splashy on the face i will definitely use this primer with some of my other foundations and base products and let you guys know how it performs with other makeup products so those were all of the products that i tried from the real love collection from makeup revolution makeup revolution makes some bomb products on a budget and this particular collection from them is also really 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 good i got most of these products from hok makeup you can find most of the makeup revolution products on a great discount on that website when you compare it with nika honestly except for this eyeshadow palette I really like the rest of the products or maybe even the foundation it's a bit too dewy for my liking but other than that the products are really really good and they are priced very reasonably as well all of the products that i used in today's video will be mentioned and linked in the description box i really hope that you guys are enjoying these kind of first impressions of brands and collections on my youtube channel if you do please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye